going on everyone? Nick Kiger here, Kiger Strength. So welcome to today's video. So I'm outside the gym right now. It is freezing, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. So I'm gonna go in there. We are doing something kind of new today. So today we are doing for overload work. Um, I did knee, uh, you tried to use knee wraps last week. I'm not a huge fan of those. <laughs> but um, today we're gonna try reverse bands for the squat. So I've never used reverse bands for any movement. So this should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna try to get those set up and um, we'll see how it goes. So let's get in there. So it's about 33 pounds. 33? 30, 30, okay. 32, I'd say. 32, so 32 times two. two. So 64. So you would just say 65 pounds of. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got it set up. So it's about 31 to 32 pounds per side. So it's going to help in the bottom, like 63. We'll call it like 65 pounds at the bottom. So um, equivalent to kind of a very, to equivalent to a tight wrap. So I think this is gonna be a good um, weight for this overload. We'll see how it goes though. I have no idea, but let's get to it. my top single for the day so very happy with how that felt though um the depth i really exploded into the hole and um you know it was definitely a grind so i felt you know that little bit of rebound but then like as that rebound as the band stopped giving me anything really um you know it slowed into like a brutal grinder so it just kind of got slower 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 until the lockout so i'm um, very happy with that it's great to feel you know the heavier weight on your back like that because now when i go back to the regular raw squat obviously um my regular true max without the bands is going to feel very light because you know i've already had such a heavy load on my back but um anyway gonna go do some back off sets now and then i got a bench
All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed that squat footage. So I enjoyed the reverse fans squats. Um, that was the first time I've ever done them, as I mentioned before. And I liked the way it worked out. It was a little tough for me to set up. I had to play around a little bit. Um, but once you got that right height, right everything, right resistance, um, they're a great overload tool. And as you saw by that 585 rep, I, I pushed it too far today and mostly not really purposely just uh, because mainly due to the fact that I didn't really know what I was going to be able to work up to since I'd never done them before so I definitely overshot what I was supposed to do with that 585 single um, which I don't want to do at this point but it's all right one time's not going to hurt me but I got to be conscious going forward, especially since my elbow's been bothering me a lot, that if I constantly overshoot things at leading in these last five weeks leading up to the meet, um, that's going to kind of compound itself. Uh, one day is not bad, but if it, one workout turns into two and three, um, then, you know, I'm not going to be in a great place come December 3rd. So these next few weeks I'm gonna kind of just reset with everything be go to the more conservative side in terms of all the numbers and um, kind of work my way up as I peak for that meet so just a little insight on what's going on um, but anyway I hope you enjoyed that footage um, fun workout and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching